Y'all, you just got the first look at Tom Clancy's X Defiant. Players anywhere in the world right now can head to playxdefiant.com to sign up for a chance to play early. And PC players in the US and Canada can start playing as early as August 5th. But until then, we got some more details on the game. I'm joined by two very special guests, Kim Wigand, producer on Tom Clancy's X Defiant. Kim, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. And Mark Rubin, executive producer on the game. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. So I want to get into things. Uh, I want to get into some of the details because this is a new look for Tom Clancy. Can you tell us a little bit more about this direction? Uh, yeah, you know, so we wanted to make a game uh, that had at its core uh, a strong expectation of quality around gameplay. Uh, so, you know, uh, movement, aiming, shooting, etc., uh, all needed to feel grounded and realistic, uh, but also smooth and reactive. Uh, and we felt that that matched up really well with the Clancy universe. Uh, but we wanted to bring a very different take on the attitude that is, I would say, normally associated with Clancy. Uh, and I, I think you can even see that in our title. You know, the, the X Defiant logo is really uh, in, a, in a kind of irreverent and rebellious take that we think flips the normally serious Clancy vibe. So tell us a little bit about what kind of game X Defiant is. At its core, X Defiant is a really fast paced arena shooter with a reasonably fast time to kill. Uh, it should be very familiar to all players of the genre. And so you can, you know, jump in quickly uh, alone or with friends. Uh, you can go into it with a very competitive mindset and, uh, you know, really test yourself on that front. You know, one of the number one things that I want uh, to say about the team and the game is that uh, we're just here really to make a game that people enjoy playing. And that's it, really. It's literally that simple. Uh, we want the beginning of this game's life uh, to be very humble and focus on being transparent with our community uh, and have them be involved in evolving the game. I don't think we want to have any features or parts of the game that we won't talk about with our community. Uh, and there's no, well, maybe the next game will have those improvements as we want this game to last for years. Uh, we are not going to abandon it and go off and make another game after this one launches. Uh, we want to be dedicated to our community. We'll make some mistakes. Um, but we hope the community will trust us enough to know that we will always own up to those and we will always work to fix them as fast as possible. Because again, at the end of the day, we just want to build a game and a community uh, that people really want to be a part of. Oh, that's great to hear, Mark. It has me very excited. Uh, now, I want to get a little bit into gameplay, specifically that, that video we just saw. Kim, we got to look at some factions that are coming to the game. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? I can. So our factions are our class based gameplay and we have four factions that we're showing off currently. The first is the wolves from Ghost Recon. This is our tank class. So they have higher health than the other factions and they have abilities that are shield based. We also have two factions from the division. The first is the cleaners, our fire based high DPS assault class. And we have the outcasts, which is our healing. Uh, faction. And finally, we have the Echelon, which is from Splinter Cell. It's our support faction. They are all about hiding information from the enemies and giving more information to your teammates. Now, our factions have some key elements. Uh, they have passive traits, they have an ultra, and they have the freedom to choose from a number of different abilities that will change the moment to moment gameplay. So on top of all this, we also have Defiance, which are the characters that you can select within those factions and every defiant has a set of skins so you can really customize what your character looks like when you play now all of these your defiance your faction your abilities your loadouts all of that can be adjusted and changed when you respawn in our game so you are not committed to a loadout as soon as you go into a match you can change it pretty much every time you respawn now this adds a lot of depth to our gameplay uh, but i should mention that gunplay is still the key that is what will make or break the win or loss for your match. And I think the final note is we're gonna to continue to add to this roster of factions, defiance, abilities, loadouts. And we really wanna hear from you all, the people who are gonna play our game, what you wanna see. 
Oh, Kim, that's so great to hear. That's awesome. Uh, Mark, I want to ask you now, tell us a little bit about the different maps and modes coming to X Defiant. Uh, yeah, um, I can give you some details too. Uh, but let me, let me first talk about the maps because I love what our team has done. Uh, I really love our maps. Uh, not, you know, not only do they play really well, uh, but each map is interesting and full of character. Uh, they are all really unique and beautiful locations. And I think this is an area where our Snowdrop engine really shines. Um, and as we start seeing all of the maps for launch and beyond, uh, I think you'll see that we're pulling inspiration from many different games, pretty much in the same way we did with our factions. Uh, now for some details, uh, in the upcoming closed test, we're gonna have 10 maps available uh, that will be divided into seven standard arena maps and three linear maps. Uh, and then for modes, uh, we'll have three different modes for arena maps. Um, that's domination, ringleader, and upload. And then for the linear maps, we have two modes, uh, escort and zone control. So we wanted our first modes to be very familiar to people, but also show that we can play with the formulas. Uh, and so we picked these modes to give players, uh, you know, a variety of gameplay styles. Uh, so we have a mode for people who like objectives. We have a mode for people who like a TDM style of play. Uh, we have a mode for people who want a more competitive, higher risk style of play, um, as well as the two linear modes for people who like uh, a more progression style of gameplay. Uh, and it's, you know, it's our hope that at launch, there will be a good amount of variety in both maps and modes. Uh, and we plan on bringing new maps and modes on a regular basis throughout the life of the game. That's awesome. You know, I love everything I'm hearing. You got plenty of diversity in factions, maps, modes, all anchored by good gunplay. That's what I love to hear. Kim, can you tell us a little bit about the team that's making the game? Of course, I love talking about our development team. Um, so we are led by the Ubisoft San Francisco studio. Mark and I both work at that studio and we have a team with just incredibly diverse backgrounds and experiences in game development. Now, We've built this team of industry veterans, and we have a lot of experience in making first-person shooters. Um, but on top of that, we have a number of production processes that are helping us get this game to a point that we're really proud of. Uh, so we have things like feedback loops and iterations that we do very quickly. We play our game every single day, and it is so fun. Um, and it's just helping us find the fun and really emphasize that as we develop this game. Now, I will give a shout out. We have teams all around the world. It's not just Ubisoft San Francisco. We have tons of other studios helping us out. Uh, and a big thank you to them. We could not get this far without you guys. And we uh, love the journey so far. And we're really excited to see where this goes moving forward. So we've worked really hard on this game. We're really proud of it. We think it's really special in the first person shooter genre. And uh, we can't wait to continue building it with you all. Oh, that's awesome. I personally know I can't wait to get my hands on it. And if you can't wait to get your hands on it either, you can head to playxdefined.com and register for a chance to play early. The first closed test takes place August 5th and is open to PC players in the US and Canada. Head there right now and register to play.